Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Rasant 427. Actually, today I want to come over here and talk about actually something that actually just happened, I believe, yesterday from re from me recording this. Is actually Gunther and Gunther actually just broke the Intercontinental Championship longest reign of all time. Now, I believe the longest reign of all time is about 456 days, I believe. It's, that's what the Gunther record actually is right now. That's just what I uh, actually believe it is. And so he actually just defeated Chad Gable on Monday Night Raw. That was the big match for them leading up to it. I mean, some people believe that there was a chance that, you know, he might he might uh, lose it right, right before. I didn't think there was a chance. It was like, why do that and why lose it right before you actually break the record? They're going to want to break the record because they want the new records there. They want new records to be broken. That's why they're doing their things with... Roman Reigns, back of Belair, who I don't know if she's the longest reigns women's champion. They say the modern era, so I guess not of all time. I don't know why they didn't just give her the all time record. Maybe they just didn't. Maybe that's too long or something. I don't know what the all time women's record is, but he actually held it for 455 days. Now, I believe I just said 456 days, but he held it for 455 days. I think this is great for Gunther. Um, I want to be honest, we first came up. I didn't really see them pushing him like this, but which, I mean, I guess you could say it's not really pushing him, but they, they definitely elevated the IC championship, and I'm loving that they're actually doing that. Um, they were supposed to do that with the U.S. title, but everything that happened, I love Austin Derry, but everything that happened to him, it just diminished it. Hopefully, Raymond Steele can build that back up, because that shit, because at one point, these two titles were on, like, basically right under the, the top world championships and for a long time you might say that's the way it should be because those are the two secondary championships but it has not been like this for a long long i can't remember the last time they treated the ic title or even even though, though the u.s title took a dip i can't remember the way the last time they treated both of those titles this well i cannot remember the last time they actually have done that so i think that's fantastic and you know gunther i'm gonna be honest when i first seen him in nxt uk i seen clips of him and i was just like i had no interest in him uh, he de he definitely he got in shape. He got definitely the look that WWE wants. Cause I'm gonna be honest, and I don't know if people agree with me with this or not. And I know some there's some bigger guys in WWE, but with that look that he had, I just don't see him surviving in WWE. I just didn't see it. Me personally, I didn't see it. But I'm glad that he put get because that's the one thing I can respect. Cause a lot of guys would have just stayed that way and stay with that look but he actually reinvented himself and came into the main roster and into the main nxt he got a whole new look got a whole new presentation to him and i thought that that was the like one of the best things about him and what he actually did because he's in fantastic condition right now i'm gonna be honest i'm not the biggest gunter fan i'm really not i like him as i don't well, one day i love him maybe because to be honest be, to be honest before the wrestlemania match this year i didn't get the hype like, all this hype that I was hearing surrounding him, I was just like, like, well, why is people hyping him up so much? Why why are people all over him like this? Because, you know, you know the whole five-star classics and all that other stuff, that does nothing for him. You got to have more than that. And I feel like he actually showed me that trip with that match at WrestleMania, which I think is probably the match of the year. I mean, that might be surprising me saying that. But I think that might be the match of the year. Just for me personally, that triple dot match of Mania was absolutely fantastic. I mean, I thought I mean I thought Cody and Roman was fantastic too as far as match of the year, but that ending just it completely ruins the match for me. I mean I'll clear say the triple dot match or the tag team match that main event night one of Mania. But for Gunther to go from me not really caring for him, for him to him having my match of the year, like that's that's a huge jump off course. Cause to be honest, you told me last year at Clash of the Castle, which I didn't really care for that Seamus match. I thought it was good, but it wasn't as great as people said. But if you told me last year after Clash of the Castle that Gunther would have my match of the year for 2023, I would not believe. I would not believe that Gunther had my match of the year for 2023. But he absolutely does. And that's how great he actually is. And when does he lose it? Who does he lose it to? If he's fighting Chad Gable at Fastlane, he's losing it. There's nobody having Chad Gable lose that many times. There's no way. You would absolutely kill Chad Gable's momentum that he actually has right now because he's he's over right now. He, he once he beats Gunther, if they can continue that, then you build. You already built up. Gunther is made. He's world championship material. People have been saying he's world championship material, but you would build up Chad Gable as well, who would carry the Intercontinental Championship into the future, and then you have Gunther go into the main program. I don't know what he would actually do. There's a lot of talk about him and Seth Rollins at Mania. But if you do him and Seth Rollins, and then you do Roman and Cody, what do you do at LA Knight? So that would, that would be the case. But I definitely think they, I definitely think he should drop this Intercontinental Championship and just go into that main event scene. 
And to be honest, Seth Rollins has nobody to face. I mean, he's facing Shinsuke Nakamura. I mean, who actually cares about that? So he, I, I, I personally feel like he needs to be in that main event scene because Seth Rollins needs opponents. He has nobody to face. I mean, if he's fighting Shinsuke Nakamura every time, then, I mean, it can't be anything worth doing anything. But tell me your thoughts in the comment section below. What do you think about Gunther breaking the record? I think this is fantastic for Gunther. This is going to catapult him. Uh, Honky Tonk Man's record. I mean, the last time we seen Honky Man was on oh, Don. The last time he wrestled was Roy Rumble 2001. Or maybe he wrestled Santino on a random match. I can't really remember. But those are the last times I remember him actually being on TV. But this is definitely a record that needs to be broken. I'm glad that Gunther has this. I mean, it's, will he go down as the greatest title kind of champion? That's a whole nother thing. I mean, I, I would say who's the greatest in the kind of championship? Probably Bret Hart. I would say he's the greatest in the kind of champion. But he definitely has a case to be the greatest in the kind of champion. But 455 days, I think he's losing that at fast lane. So, because they, cause they gotta have somebody Seth Rollins to face. And there's literally nobody for Seth Rollins to face. Like, there's, they, they literally have him face Chisuke Nakamura. So, they gotta have him face Gunther. And Gunther needs to be catapulted to the world championship. I think this is great for Gunther. This is a great stepping off point, and this is huge success. And I think this this title reign, this uh, this this reign will last for a long, long time after he actually drops the title. But I think he needs to drop the title and move to the world heavyweight championship position. But tell me your thoughts, guys, inside the comment section below. What do you think about Gunther actually winning the Intercontinental Championship? Actually, winning the Intercontinental Championship and actually retaining it for this long, and him having this great title reign. I'm really starting to love Gunther each day. Is each match as I've seen each day goes on. I'm really starting to love Gunther more and more and more. But tell me your thoughts in the comments below. Like, comment, subscribe. Thanks.